fact, the adolescent period is the period in which, mainly in relation with um, bone health, uh, individuals need to consume more calcium and then more dairy products. And the tendency is to decrease the consumption because, in general, during uh, childhood, the parents uh, promote milk consumption. The ELENA study was supported by the European Commission in the six uh, framework program. It was a complex uh, project at the time, but the main study is a cross-sectional study involving more than 3,500 adolescents. And we had the opportunity of doing the, the analysis in two subsamples, one having uh, not only uh, anthropometric measurements and measurements of lifestyles, but also uh, blood uh, markers and a larger sample of uh, more than 1,000 uh, adolescents having also dietary intake uh, data and uh, the body composition uh, assessment. And one of the, the food groups included uh, yogurt, yogurt milk uh, or yogurt uh, drinks and also uh, uh, white cheese. We first uh, observed that uh, yogurt and yogurt-based uh, drinks were associated with uh, the protective effect uh, for cardiovascular diseases. And when we summed up milk consumption, we observed that the effect or the association was stronger. So the hypothesis is that something that uh, is contained in uh, dairy products uh, could be responsible of this protective effect. The main message for the adolescent consumers would be that uh, a healthy eating pattern should be established as early as, as possible and within the, the, the products that uh, should be consumed uh, every day are uh, cereal-based cereal products, fruits and vegetables, and milk and dairy products. And as adolescents need to consume in between two to three portions per day, of daily products, it, there is a, an important place certainly for, for yogurt. <music>